guys, how's it going? Day one of our trip, we are off to Indiana, USA, North America, Earth, Milky Way Galaxy, all that geeky stuff. There you go. Just doing our walkthrough of the house right now, making sure that all the windows and doors are locked, closed. This is my bedroom. Get out of my bedroom, guys. It's kind of weird that you would follow me in there like that. I don't know about you guys. Bedroom windows I checked already are locked. Closed back doors, locked, closed. Hallway window. Everything is shut off. Stove is not on. All right, so a lot of you have been asking, who watches your house when you're gone, Trucker Josh? Like, what if someone were to break in? You're not there. Well, actually, I'm always here. <laughs> I know I'm that creepy. I have very close neighbors and also family who watch this house like a hawk. It's a close community here in the trailer park. Uh, if anything goes on when my vehicles aren't in the driveway here, they'll call me and let me know. Uh, they're very close. They're always home, so always watching my house. I'm also having a pretty cool security system installed. I'm kind of ex excited about it. It's motion-activated cameras, which are linked directly to my Android phones. So anywhere where I am, in Canada or the States or the world, if anything happens, say some kids or a burglar comes up to my my door and tries to start breaking in as soon as he gets near my house anywhere the motion activated camera switch on and it sends me a notification to my phone which I'm holding right now filming with sends me a notification saying that hey something's going on at your house check it out so I pick up my phone and I look who's there cameras are on oh it's just a dog whatever let him run through the yard and camera shut off after a while of non-activity and whatnot or I can keep them on from my phone I can turn them on manually from Texas if I want to and just check to make sure everything's all right. If it turns out to be someone who shouldn't be there, I let the RCMP know, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I call them from Texas or California or Florida, wherever I am. I'm just naming the nicest places I can think of because I like to go there. And I let them know, hey, someone's at my house that shouldn't be there. Go pick them up, eh? Go pick them up, eh? So, uh, anyways, that's what would happen. If someone were to try to break into my house, it doesn't matter where I am, I am always going to be here. So, other than that, yeah, it's a, I actually just discovered that security system. I'm sure it's been on the market for a while, but I was pretty excited when I found it, because it's perfect for a trucker, right? Any of you guys who want to watch your house when you're gone, go check it out. Uh, I'm doing, doing mine through, oh shoot, what's it called? I forget what the company's called again, but yeah, it's great. Got a good deal on it, and that's who watches my house when I'm gone. I do. <laughs> so don't try nothing funny. Okay. Anyways, we got to get going. We're running a little bit late. All right, Diesel, you ready to go or you want to sniff the trash can a bit yet? You're not going to see it for a while. Guess he's done. All right. Here's my pickup. Just got these this new rubber installed. Haven't shown you guys yet. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on it. See that there? They're super swampers. 36 inch. It's a 20 inch rim on the outside. And it's 13 and a half inches wide. That's a shadow. You don't want to see my shadow. There they are. So. Diesel, come here. Get in the truck. Atta boy. Alright. Ready for this diesel or what? Let's go to Indiana. Oh yeah. Bye bye trailer park. I'll miss you. When you rednecks. Just like me. This guy's the biggest redneck of them all. He's got like 10 vehicles that he's working on right now. A lot of them are nice though. This is a good trailer park. You get a good variety of everything. I've already got the mail. I don't need to go and do that. I should probably go and get some food though. Alrighty guys, here we are in our home. Left our second home. Our primary home here is actually a little smaller than our secondary home. But, well you do. Here's Diesel. There he is. There's eating already. He's always eating such a pig. Anyways, let's go get our trailer. We have a change of destination. I know we were headed to Indiana. I got to work and boom! Happens sometimes. We're now going to Oregon. Stopping in Regina first. So let's go get our trailer.
Diesel, are you ready to go? You ready to go to Regina? You excited? Da, 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 da. You just have that one look on your face all the time. Like, yeah, you got any food? <laughs> well, I'm excited. Because after Regina, we're going to Oregon. Okay. I know my windshield's dirty. I don't care. I can see through it. Here we go. Alright people, it is sure bright out today. It is 7.30 central time. We have just crossed into Saskatchewan. That means it is 6.30. Just like that we went back in time. Huh? Not bad. So, it's been an uneventful day so far. The sun has been killing me. The past hour or two. It's just relentless, won't give up. I don't know why I just won't go down already, but whatever. The thing about going west, eh? It goes down slower. It's sort of chasing the sun over the horizon. Anyway, so we're on our way to Regina. I'm hoping to get a parking spot at the Husky in Regina there. And then we have an 11 o'clock delivery appointment tomorrow morning. Uh, from there, we're going to head down to Weyburn, reload there, and that load is taking us to Oregon, USA. That is on the west coast, uh, smudged between. Washington State and California. So I'll be just north of California. Most of you know where that is. Well, we're getting pretty close to Regina here. We're uh, 70 kilometers away, 70. We left home at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it is now 9 o'clock. So I've been driving for six hours. Almost straight. Stopped for fuel once at a bathroom break, but. Here's one of those uh, pikes that I've been telling you about, 253 foot trailers. See so many of these, more and more and more of them all the time. Looks like it's a day cab pulling these though. A lot of times it's a full tractor uh, and sleeper unit that pulls these things. Apparently this driver isn't very educated. I just saw him turn on his brights. Did you see that? If you look on the left there, those cars are a lot closer than they look in the video. He's blinding those drivers. It's a very ignorant move turning your brights on like that. Just because you're on a four lane highway doesn't mean you can use your brights. I don't get why people do that. It bothers me. Especially late in the day when I'm tired and grumpy. Turn your brights off. Here's the rule. You listening? This is important. If you can see two separate headlights on the vehicle coming towards you, or if you can see two separate taillights on the vehicle traveling in front of you, you are too close to use your high beams tidbit of information for you. Trucker 101, driver 101. Doesn't matter if you're a trucker or just a regular everyday driver in your little four-wheeler car. Your high beams are meant for when you are alone on the highway. You blind the drivers. Even if you're on a four-lane highway like this one here, you can't use your high beams because it still hurts my eyes on this side of the road. And it really wouldn't take much if you blind me for me to plow through this median here and take you out. Alrighty. Oh, so we made it to Regina. And I'm a little more tired than I thought I might be. But, drove, what, six and a half hours today? Just under 600 kilometers. And uh, we stopped at the Husky. Now there, it was pretty full. Husky and Regina fills up really quickly. We sort of made a spot in the back where we're out of the way. Uh, but that's what you got to do sometimes. There's nowhere else to park. And there's really no truck stops in Regina. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know what they're thinking, really. They need a Flying J really badly. Like one with showers and a parking lot for about 100 to 150 trucks. They would make a killing out here. If anyone's watching this and wants to start a business, start up a Flying J Travel Plaza in Regina. 
Make sure it's on a major route along the Trans Canada, and you will be successful. I guarantee it, absolutely. That's a word. Look it up. Okay. Well, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. This is the end of day one of this trip. Today we drove from Winnipeg, Manitoba, to Regina, Saskatchewan. Y'all have a good night. I will see you in the morning for day two.